All right, welcome into the show, Creative Crypto here. And in this video, we're gonna check out the BNB coin price, how it's following exactly the bar pattern that I had predicted here for the price. We'll jump into the yield farming that I am using right now to earn some constant profits every single day. We'll also look at some other gems that I found here in the space and give you guys an overall view of the crypto market and how to make some money in this space. Because right now there is tons of scams and rug pulls and a lot of shady stuff going on. However, there is a lot of good things going on as well. And you just have to find the good gems in this space and you can try to make some profits. It's tough to navigate sometimes. I've lost plenty of money gambling on some gem projects, but I've also gained some great profits as well. So let's dive into the BNB coin price. You can see that we did have some support on this red line, but then we did dip under following the bar pattern pretty much perfectly here and getting the reverses at the same exact pattern trends. As you can see the white bar trend pattern under here, this is when it said it was peaked out and we did get that correction. Now this bucked the trend right here and that's constant in bar trends. You'll see that all the time where it can buck the trend but then it continues to follow the trend. So will we buck the trend before we get to this here? So for example, we go down the next couple days and then instead of going down more to 500, we just pump up. That could be in the cards as well. So you really have to prepare for both scenarios. So that's what I do in this space. I hold some BNB and then I also hold some BUSD in case I want to buy some BNB on a dip. And then I'll be constantly earning some yield profits every single day and using those in various ways to hedge and take profits and maybe buy some gems and that kind of thing. So that's what I do, guys. You know, crypto to me is not full time. It's what I do in my part time. I do have a full time job that I do Monday through Friday. That's why I can't always be making videos. But when I can, I like to share with you guys great information. I like to give more quality than quantity type of thing. So that's what I like to do here on the channel. And yeah, maybe eventually I'll be able to retire off of crypto and use that to live off of for a long time. But for right now, I just need to pay my bills making fiat money. So crypto is just a part time hobby. And that's what I treat it. And it's actually more fun that way. It's less stress. It's less pressure to always make money. And so it's just kind of a fun little hobby to have. So let's dive in quickly, guys. Let's go in the latest here. This was the hot new thing. I saw tons of YouTubers pumping. And people thought they were going to get rich buying this coin at $200. And yeah, you could have. You could have done a quick flip from $200 to $600. But of course, this thing completely got obliterated because of the farming that this has. And... It's kind of surprising that it dumped so fast because there was a two hour harvest lockup for all of these pools at the minimum. But yet, as soon as this thing went live, this Gator price tanked. So that leads me to believe that the people behind Gator Swap had a large amount of tokens that they dumped on the market before we could dump our harvest earnings from the farms. That's what I believe happened. So, hey guys, you have to really be careful uh, when you get in these type of pools especially with the house token. That's something that there's a specific time to get into the house tokens and you definitely want to pick your right spots. Like for me, I was able to get in cake early on, panther early on, you know, a lot of these oak tree early on. And yes, it can be super, super profitable, but it can also end up like this gator swap where I can't even get ROI on my 4% from the WBNB pool. I mean, we're down to about 1.4% a day. So maybe in the next two or three days, I'll be able to make this. Uh, but I was expecting to make a good amount of money on this and barely even gonna make the 4% on the fee. So this one, this one I didn't of course share at all. This one I just got in privately because I saw tons of YouTubers just shilling this platform. And yeah, it's been a complete flop, complete just utter sham for Gator Swap. So. Yeah, these swaps are kind of they're kind of running thin, guys. I think we just have to stick with the staples. We can't really get into anything like this anymore. And we're going to just have to stick with the staples. For example, like Octree. Octree has been a staple since day one on this channel. We are well over 20x on our investment here, especially if you've been farming. You are well over ROI and just really, really great. I just like the pace that they're going. They're not going too fast. They're not going to burn out too quick like all these other farms. 
they are taking it slow and steady and that wins the race and so an arc tree in my opinion will win the race in the long term because it has a very low supply it is a deflationary token and you can yield farm it and the yield farming is very very profitable now as a percentage is insane no it's about 0.3 percent a day but you know what that adds up over time and your liquidity your ox to bnb will grow over time as these prices go up for both of these pairs so your liquidity will earn in value you'll earn some more oak in value and once everything goes live here their dex aggregator is a really really great tool i use it all the time when i want to find the best price for things across the market you can find out what's the best price if i want to sell some bnb where can i get the best price for that right now it's bakery swap you're going to get the most busd per bnb all right so maybe you just go to pancake swap and look you're not getting as much yes it's not it's not as small but you know what it is a difference and that can add up over time especially if you're trading large amounts you know what if you want to buy you know 500 bnb what's the best place to do that and you'll have to see okay pancake swap because they have the most liquidity all right bakery swap is going to be way less so you have to always do your research and find what's best so they have a lot of great stuff coming with octree this one is just constant you see all these other farms pump and dump and lose faith in the community but octree is standing strong standing tall and continuing to just to my, in my opinion be the leader in this space next to pancake swap because i have not seen a project as stable as this and just a lot of great things coming for this so octree still my number one my number one investment of course that i've held my number one roi investment on the channel and just a lot of great stuff with octree super excited they have a great cause they plant trees they donate to charities and they help out so great stuff for octree always going to look forward to that pancake bunny just continuing to compound my cake as long as it's profitable in here uh yes my balance has taken a hit because cake has gone down in price but you know what this is pumping out money every single day and so lately i've just been converting my profits here to busd to hedge that's what i do because it's a hedge guys because as, if this continues to go down i need to hedge and have something stable that i'm earning from this so that's what i do of course you can have your own strategy you can convert it to bnb you can just continue to compound so it's up to you now panther swap panther swap is looking really good in my opinion guys all right we're up to 311 million in here this one you know we've been on a dip but you know what we're recovering and this is actually the only thing going up right now as far as the swaps are concerned for the house tokens all right this one's constantly popping out tons of profits this is my number one money earner every single day i'm earning at least i want to say close to a hundred dollars a day from panther swap and i've been doing that for a very long time almost two weeks so yeah it's been going extremely well and i look forward to more innovation here with panther swap they do have their own exchange which a lot of these other swaps you know some of them do have their own exchange but for them to have their own exchange is going to be huge and it's just looking good in my opinion for panther swap and if you've been in it just continue to farm it continue to earn what i do you know i hedge and i take my profits that's what i do so to me i'm already on house money in panther swap and that's just what I, my journey has led me to so that's been a really really great project right there now guardia swap is kind of on the downturn i'm not sure how much longer i will be in here farming uh because the wbnb is down to 0.39 so very very low and the coin continues to tank in price so i'm also farming their house token pool which just because it's at you know four percent that one's fallen as well so i'm gonna have to make a decision shortly what i'm gonna be doing with guardia swap i'm trying to be patient with it I'm trying to give it its go because it does have 30 million locked but the coin just gets plummeted and the aprs are going down very fast and you know yes i am already on house money with guardia swap but at this point i just i need to see what else is out there i think and continue to evaluate guardia swap because it was a great money earner but right now it's really falling off and yeah it's really not producing that much for me at the moment so wix swap Walt Finance is going great. Now, Wex Token did see a huge pump to around 30 cents, I want to say, even upwards of 40 cents. And we have consolidated back down to about 12 cents, 13 cents. That's when I shared it on the channel. So we really haven't lost much. If you got in the first day I shared this at about 13 cents. And we've earned a lot with yield farming. 
and you know the percentages are still good looking at 2.3 percent is pumping out some nice profits now what i did to hedge because when i saw the huge correction back downwards i decided to pull profits so what i did was i sold some of the staked wex that i had and then i put the other wex into this vault to let it just auto compound and let it just do its thing every single day and just continue to compound so this is just compounding my wex it's a much better apy than on here i mean you're looking at almost i mean that's 820 percent so much higher and yeah i'm just going to continue to compound my wex in here and then pull out profits because i want to hedge against my liquidity because i am yield farming this if you were just compounding wex you don't really need to worry about hedging at that point i'm hedging because i'm yield farming this so that's what i do and this is a great gem i found recently here i also posted this in my signal group a free one that i share here in the telegram creative crypto free signals check it out in the link below you'll see a link to the telegram the creative crypto free trading signals i also have a vip group that one's been up and down. We've been, we found us some few gems, but then we ran into a bit of a downturn here because of a lot of market volatility and just a lot of rugs in the space. Let's be honest. There's been a lot of scam projects that are coming out every single day, but Bunny Park to me was a gem. So this one I posted at $2.89. I bought in for $50 and then I also am yield farming. That's where the most of my investment is in here is yield farming. All right. And you can see that right now the bunny park price is up to $4.73. So it's almost doubled since I posted that in the Telegram. I want to say about a couple days ago here on May 12th. So yeah, guys, that's what I'd like to do. Now, not every signal is going to be the best, but once in a while you will see the gems come through. And Bunny Park has a lot of stuff going on. They have NFTs, they have cards, they have boxes and things that... They do here they're gonna have a marketplace for nfts they already have their own exchange working and they have yield farming which is about 1.9 percent a day right now so i'm earning about 40 dollars a day i do have about a thousand dollars of liquidity in here and i'm farming and earning so right now yeah it's about 40 bucks a day with bunny park and when i put that in the liquidity was of course a lot less and so now it's gone up because the price has doubled almost and yeah, that's what can happen. You have to just position yourselves to win. That's what we have to do. Position yourself at a time when you think you're behind a good project at a good time where you can earn. That's what I did with Evo DeFi. Evo DeFi, I got in at two dollars and something, and rode that up to you know eighteen dollars, and we were taking profits all along the way. And now that we dip back down, I decided to hedge again, and I pulled out half of my investment. So now I have full ROI plus tons of profits from this. And now I have my original investment still in here, plus all the profit I've already pulled out. And now I'm just leaving this in as house money to continue to earn. So right now I'm earning about $3 a day, nothing special, but I do think this project is good for the long term. They have a lot of good stuff. Look at this, Evo Matic. They have a lot of different stuff here. So this to me is a long term hodl, and I'm just going to continue to earn. You know, as long as the price stays good and the APR is around where it needs to be, yeah, I'm going to continue to earn from this one. That's what I saw Bunny Park as. I saw this as an early stage EVO because Bunny Park was on a pump as well for a while and then it consolidated around the $2 range and that's where I bought in. Okay, So I can see it getting back up for to this $12 range. Definitely. Definitely could. So yeah, they have a lot of great stuff with Bunny Park. So check it out guys. That's a new one here on the channel. Uh, vanilla swap this one oh man this is another one that is just very kind of disappointing to be honest now this one their their claim to fame is more stability they're trying to be more stable um the, their farms are pretty stable here you're looking at you know two percent here now this one i bought in the pre-sale i think i put in about half a b and b in the pre-sale here and i was able to sell half of my v cake and got out about 0.3 BNB, and then I put the other half into yield farming. So right now I haven't really made any profit off of this. We're gonna see how this goes. This one had a lot of hype. It sold out their pre-sale, got to their full asking that they were looking for for the BNB to raise, and I thought this was gonna have a lot of momentum. But right now it's only 
1 million total value locked. And that's very low for farms. But give it time. Going to be patient. I'm not going to rush any conclusions too fast. But of course, give it a few days and we'll have to see what's going to become of Vanilla Cake Swap. So another one that kind of had some high expectations. I didn't share this one on the channel because we've had some disappointments in the past with these pre-sales for these swaps and yeah so I'm I'm kind of kind of leaning off of these to be honest I want to just stick to the staples like Panther like Wex right and like Octree those are my three staples that I'm gonna stay on I'm always gonna have my bunny compounding in pancake bunny as long as it's profitable all right and then I'm also going to use bunny park that one's a great up-and-comer one and just continue from there guys so another one here another signal I had posted was Doppel Finance that one I posted in the signal group and this was uh, this one was up here this was fire token this one actually like three or four X as soon as I posted the signal look signal given and then it pumped so that one was a great profits right there you can see Doppel token this was I didn't put the price it was before I was doing the price on there but I posted it around this price and it pumped up to about four dollars so almost doubled our money from Doppel what I'm doing is farming I'm using their Doppel to BNB pair it's about one percent a day and I'm just earning their Doppel tokens because what they have here is they have a swap for the best stable coin exchange rates if you want to exchange stable coin to stable coin sometimes people need to do that you know I've had to do that sometimes when I withdraw from a, an exchange I need to just switch it out so yeah they have the best uh, stable coin if you ever need to exchange stable coins use Doppel Finance because you're gonna get screwed on any others like pancake swap for example let's say you want to do 500 die to 500 BUSD pancake swap is gonna take much more you know the higher it goes let's say you want to do 5,000 all right or 50,000 I mean look at look how much you're saving all right so this is just for people that want to save money on stablecoin transactions and then they have some other stuff going on here with the DeFi. So yeah, Doppel Finance looking pretty good, looking like a little sleeper here. I'm going to continue to farm this token and earn from there. Now this other one here, this other newer one to my channel, Maki Swap, Maki Tail Swap. They're going to have some good stuff here. They're going to have a Dex, they're going to have a Launchpad and a Tease, right? And they also have this Maki Pool. Now this one is just staking their token, their MOK token, and you're earning about 800% APR. All right, so close to about 2.5% a day, give or take, and you're earning that in their token. So you don't have to worry about pairing it. You can pair it if you want to do the different the farming. But to me, I just want to lower my risk, just put some of these tokens away and stake them and earn. And so I'm hoping this price can 3 or 4x and this is worth a lot more and then just just like we did with evo DeFi, that's kind of what i'm looking for get in these things when they're low get into these pools and just farm and then hope the price can pump with it all right so marshmallow DeFi. this one's just hanging around this one i have my liquidity in i've just kind of been holding it in here just to see because uh this one was doing good for a while so i just continue to pull out i basically just use this for gas money you know i'll make like ten dollars every two days and I'll just pull it out and replenish my BNB for gas that I've been paying for all these other transactions. So it's just basically like getting free house money, gas money pretty much at the moment. And yeah, that's what I'm doing with that one. Wise staking, Wise token, their staking has been opened. And you can pick your staking plan. So you're going to have to do create regular stake here. And you're going to go into here. Select how much you want to stake in Wise, how many days, the longer days a lot more APY you're going to make. However, you don't get your earnings until the end of the stakes. So for me, I did 100 days. I'm not going to get this interest until the end of those 100 days. But then I'm going to get my full tokens back. So I've calculated this and I've staked 1,320 Ys. That should earn me, if the price stays where it's at, about $100. So it's going to earn me about $1 a day at the end, I'm going to be able to collect that. All right, assuming this price stays the same. Now, if the price goes lower, obviously it's going to be way less. But if the price pumps, let's say at the end of this 100 days, the wise price has pumped 5x, well, now I've made $500 in that time span. All right, and then I'm also holding some more wise, waiting for some other things 
your yield farming and some other things are gonna open up. So yeah, this is a more stable, long-term, lower interest type of farm. And we'll see, maybe this attracts some whales because if you look at it, it's really not bad of a deal. Right, you come in here, you put a bunch of Ys in here, you're gonna get about 20%, give or take in about 100 days. And then you get your tokens back, your Ys tokens back. So this one, yeah, this is very transparent with the team and everything on this. They have a little referral system and you're gonna have a bunch of other stuff. So yeah, so this is what I'm doing in DeFi guys on the Binance Smart Chain. And yeah, just, uh, happy to be making some earnings uh this one was very surprising i want to talk about real quick yummy token this is just a great example of having patience guys having patience i actually made a private video for my vip signal group talking about patience and giving this as an example because when i had first bought into yummy token back with the very beginning actually and if you want to see the proof i'll show you on the blockchain here i'll take my wallet address copy my wallet address go to the folders section for yummy and i'll show you guys that yeah it's all about having patience taking your roi and just trying to position yourself in front of the trends all right so you can see I'm not bragging i'm just showing you guys the facts all right because some people think i make this stuff up and i don't so you can see $50 for 13 million yummy tokens. And right now I have about half of that because I have got some profits, locked in some profits two times here. You can see that sold some back for hundred bucks. So doubled my initial investment. And then about seven hours ago, got another about 90 bucks there. So about four X my initial investment. Plus I have 6 million yummy that I still have worth about $830. So this one has been absolutely going parabolic. I'm not exactly sure why. I think there's some mainstream adoption for this, but you can see when I did buy in here back in May 2nd, actually, right here is where I bought in. All right, I bought in Yummy about right here in this range. Okay, but I had to hold it for a good amount of time because this token, as soon as I bought in, it dumped about 80%. So my $50 at one time was down to about $10 of worth of these tokens. Now, did I panic sell? Did I decide to cut my losses? No, you need to give these tokens time because eventually it all depends. Some of them don't recover, but some of them recover in a huge way. And that $10 is now $800. Plus I took another 90 bucks off. So give or take, this is close to, I wanna say, a 20x right here for yummy token so this this is why I gem hunt guys this is why I try to find these gems and because you never know you know you just put a flyer in there trying to find the next safe moon trying to find the next Shiba Inu that type of token that's what I'm trying to find you know I'm okay with doing three or four trades and then all going to zero I just need that one that's gonna 10 20 50 X and that's gonna make up for all the losses and give me tons more profits so that's why I continue to gem hunt and if you want to join the signal group, you can join the free one here on Telegram. And if you want to join the premium group, visit this pin message and I'll show you exactly how to do that. And you guys can get into the free or the premium group right now. And that's what I'm trying to do. It's just right now there's so many scams. There's so many rug pulls. There's so much shadiness going on right now in this DeFi space. You have to just be able to navigate it carefully. And so yeah, this is uh, looking pretty good with some of these gem tokens. You know, not all of these are gonna hit even in the slightest, and it's just all a gamble. But if you can find that one that comes through, it can really be worth it to go gem hunting and try to find these. So yeah, looking, looking good guys. Just be ready, be ready for that BNB correction and be ready for that. I don't know how low it's gonna go. It may go lower than this. It may, you know, we may dip another 14% and then we can recover. All right, that's what I'm hoping. Or we just buck the trend and instead of dipping, we just go up from there. So be prepared for both scenarios. Both scenarios are definitely possible. So I've definitely been nailing these margin patterns with the BNB price for a very long time here on the channel. So guys, if you guys like this content, please hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not subscribed already. 
and I'll continue to update you guys along the journey here in the cryptocurrency space on how I'm making some profits and how I'm making some income here to possibly one day be able to live off of crypto. Right now, of course, it's just a part-time hobby, and I try to make videos when I can. And, of course, life gets busy at times, so I appreciate the support for you guys that follow along and thumbs up and subscribe and comment down below. It means a lot. So thank you very much, and I hope to provide much more for you guys here moving forward into the next few months. So guys, hope you guys have a great day wherever you are. Until the next time, we will talk again. Take care and take charge. Creative Crypto, out.